And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. They go play action here on first down. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tucker roll that they can fall back on anymore. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Here's carry number one for Jordan Howard. First by him near the 35. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Nine yards on the pick up there as they'll be left with third and one. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. They'll try to run for it with Howard. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen, and he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. They run. This is Cohen. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Byron Jones in there to make the tackle. He makes a wonderful play there off the corner, protecting his side of the field. Oh, that reminds me of the great defenses of old, doesn't it? The Pittsburgh Steelers, Steel Curtain, they would not let you get on the field if you could only do one thing. You had to be a complete guy, and you had to be able to tackle. Now, I know I've said this before, but you know I wasn't alive when the Steel Curtain was playing. <laughs> I, I know them, but I, I just want to let you know I wasn't alive. I'm going to keep peppering that in there, and one of these days, you're going to think that you were. <laughs> This time, Trubisky will throw, and he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Demarcus Lawrence coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. Back deep is Tavon Austin. And not what he was hoping for there, as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 20. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And his first look is incomplete. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 12 yards there as they move the chains. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it'll be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. And that is incomplete. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Three out, three out. Three out. Three out. 
Throwing again. Prescott on second and ten. On the right side, this is Austin with a catch. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. This defense tightening up a bit. That last catch, just one yard, making it third and nine. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. Intended that time for Cooper. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. After the interception, here's Trubisky. And the hook up here to Allen Robinson. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there, 26 yards. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because when they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. He's going to dump that off to his running back, Cohen. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? It creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit them, partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was a nice school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level. You hit them, they go through. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. The 8-5 and five Dallas Cowboys return their offense to the field here, and they won last week to get to 8-5 and five over Philly. In that game, they had 576 yards of total offense, so you would think maybe some more points because that's the most yards of offense they've had since 1978. <laughs> it is absolutely amazing because you think with that much offense, you're scoring in the 40s. Yeah. But instead, it was a defensive battle, found a way to win in overtime. And how about the Amari Cooper trade? Hmm. Now, I, let me just say, on the record, I didn't think giving up a one was a good move for Dallas. The way it's paying off, oh, it's an excellent move for Dallas. Ten catches, 217 yards, three touchdowns, including the game winner off a deflected ball in overtime. He has been sensational for them in recent weeks. He has, although that deflected game winner that you speak of, a little lucky for Dak and company. Well, he strung it out as far as he could, and I like the fact that he kept his eyes downfield, but he finally ran out of time and room. But I'll take that over forcing it downfield and possibly having it intercepted. On third down, it's Prescott. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. That makes him now 0 for 2 here in the first quarter on third down conversions. And now they'll look to their defense because they need them to step up so they don't fall further behind here in the early going. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Tariq Cohen is deep for the Bears. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Bears take over. Chicago, they're taking the field again here on the offensive side. And any questions as to whether the Bears were for real I think they were answered on last week, Sunday night, week 14. Convincing win in the cold over the L.A. Rams, 15-6. to six. Yeah, they are. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. So first and 10 now from the 30. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Dancing to his left. 
And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Eddie Jackson picks it. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Cooper was the intended target. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. Going to let one fly for Robinson. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position yeah, there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And this one's incomplete. You got to be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. On third and goal, Trubisky. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Adam Shaheen, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears will extend their lead. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody, but those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. It, the defense just has to hate those guys. This drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have you either with size, speed, or maybe even just strength. On the return, it's Jordan Lewis. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And out now come the Cowboys. And two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it, no matter the sport, they say the great athletes, they can kind of have a short-term memory, but that's easier said than done. It is easier said than done, but I played with a guy who threw two interceptions in the first quarter of a really big game we were playing. Johnny United? And no, not, not quite at that level and not at that age. But I remember I was looking, going for the age. I remember looking over at him, and he was smiling. And I thought, what is he smiling about? It's because he had enough confidence in himself that that, that was a fluke. And he went out and played pretty well the rest of the day. Steps away to his left. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Pretty lucky to get the football back. Had his target out there waving the arms, saying, I'm open, but maybe you didn't see him quick enough. And I know the jokes are always about defensive back's hands. What really actually happens, you don't get many opportunities. You get over-anxious, and you start to think about taking it away and going the other way instead of focusing and catching the ball. Third and long for Prescott. And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. Picked off at the 35. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On first down, Trubisky. Going to let one fly for Robinson. Got his man and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Allen Robinson. 36 yards, and the Bears will add on to their lead. Parkey adds the extra point, and that makes our score 17-0. Here's Parkey now, set to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily to look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. On second down, Elliott. 
And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And they're going to have a third down. In today's NFL, when you get teams in long yardage situations with your defense, you're really going to go to your speed packages. You're going to get smaller, lighter guys on the field in order to cover the expected pass. So they might want to run the ball against a smaller, lighter lineup with your big guys, and that's exactly what happened on that play. It was tough on them, and now instead of being in third and very long, they ended up setting themselves up in third and manageable. They've got a chance at a first down. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and ten. On first and ten, Prescott. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Akeem Hicks. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. A pickup of seven there, but they'll still have 12 yards to go on third down. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. Prescott from the gun on third. Being chased out left. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 23 yards on the play. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. A first down carry by Elliott. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. It's a six yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Ten carry now for Elliott. And he'll get it here to the 10 yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through and picking up first downs. They'll give it to him up the middle. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there, and if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Kill, kill. Here we go, 46, 46. Gun, gun, gun. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Leonard Floyd able to drop him for a loss of 12. And it'll be fourth down. And forthcoming, a field goal try for the Cowboys. From the left hash, this from 39. And his kick is good. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to 3. Now that's something of a pick-me-up, and the offense certainly has struggled, but they do get the field goal before half to put three on the board. Yeah, you don't want to be shut out, but let's face it, those three points, that's not going to solve all their problems either. Onto the field now come the Bears. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now, and that's why they've opened up this big lead. 
You know, we always talk about getting into the zone, and all athletes are seeking that, aren't they? But everything is working for them. Every move they make works. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Tyrone Crawford in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On second down, here's Trubisky. He leaves this one for Howard. And he'll take him down at the 31-yard line. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. We're back to Soldier Field following this short break. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. Pressure comes, and Trubisky goes down. Demarcus Lawrence in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as the drive goes backwards. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. Well, not only did they try to fake it, they put the ball in the arm of their punter, and it didn't work out. Not the quarterback. No. The, the punter. Oh, yeah. yeah and Risky. It, it is so funny because when it works, genius. When it doesn't work, not so smart. Not so genius. In this case, not so genius. But I do admire that he went for it. Looking to throw. Prescott. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Prescott from the gun. Letting one fly deep for... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Eddie Jackson picks it, and he returns it up just shy of the 20 to the 19-yard line. Cooper was the target there. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. Well, someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. When was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it? Kurt Coleman. Oh, yeah, that's Then right. with the Eagles. That's right. Then gets it with the Eagles. And I believe it's against Washington. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Chicago. Three touchdown passes now for Mitchell Trubisky. And the Bears will extend their lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? That's fielded in the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback <laughs> some confidence. See what happens. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. All right, partner, let's peek ahead to week 15 while we have a second here. It starts out with a good one on Thursday night. How about the Chargers and the Chiefs, a battle in the AFC West? Yeah, it could very well decide the division, and that's a huge, huge ball game. And who saw that coming when the season began, that this would decide the whole deal? How about our first Saturday games of the year? Texans-Jets, 
Browns, Broncos, and those are going to feature the young quarterbacks. Sam Darnold with the Jets, Baker Mayfield with the Browns. And then Sunday, the late game, Pats and Steelers. You get Eagles, Rams Sunday night. Saints, Panthers Monday. I mean, hello, week 15. Yeah, that means I'm doing absolutely nothing the entire weekend except sitting on the couch and watching ball. Well, you're also working a game on Sunday. Oh, yeah, besides that. Okay. All right. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and eight. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. They'll try to throw now. Prescott, a dump off to Elliott. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Prescott on first down. Buying time to his left. Now he's going to go deep down the left. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this, is a do real, I'm doing it. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. Fancy footwork at the 45. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Another 13 yards there twice in a row, and they're on the move. Another first down as well. Now a play fake here on first down. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Leonard Floyd in there to get him. His second sack now of the afternoon. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Pass incomplete. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down. Then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back. But it's a big play. They've got to hold up. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Prescott off play action. Forced out to his left. Now he's going to send this one deep right side. 
And my goodness, another interception. Picked off at the 25. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line.